Welcome to another episode of Chris Nugent Reviews, where today I'll be reviewing Logan Trailer Number 2. Now, this was listed on my most anticipated films of 2017, and this trailer just ups that ante again. I'm very looking forward to this film. Roll on March. My first thoughts of the trailer are that this trailer appears to be less focused on death and finality. It's like they're traveling to get something or get to someone and that itself gives the mystery of, you know, are they going to get there? We get to see more of what's going to happen, but not being told what's going to happen. It's nice that we're given just enough to pique our interest, but not to actually spoil anything and let us know what's actually happening. Now, I'm not a huge comic book fan, so I don't know the backstory to this film. But what I would like to have answered by the film is why Logan has aged. As far as I'm aware from watching the movies, Logan doesn't age or ages very slowly. And this film appears to be maybe two, three decades in the future from the end of Days of Future Past. Feel free to fill me in on the comments below or let me know why he's aged. I'd, I'd be interested to know. It's nice to see the product placement making an appearance. Now that I think about it, I wouldn't mind a bowl of cornflakes. I like the way in the opening scene, we just about to get CX-23 use the claws and then stop by Logan. Oh, it leaves a nice bit of anticipation. Will we get to see the claws, won't we? And then it delivers. The actions are very similar to that of uh, Wolverine, if not identical, obviously being the clone of Wolverine, or Logan, I should say. This scene makes me wonder now, is Logan actually going to die in this film? Will this film be the proper sign-off and sending off the character Logan deserves? Also, what's happening here with Professor X? Is it a similar scene to X3 where he dies, or is there another mutant creating some sort of scene? I don't know. Feel free to fill me in on the comments below. So in summary, I think the trailer has built on what the first trailer established. It doesn't give away too much, but it gives you enough just to, to pique your interest and build your anticipation for the film. It's stylistically gritty, great backing track, and just enough to whet the appetite. I'm looking forward to this film. Please don't suck. So as always, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. And if you want to keep up to date or see more, click below to subscribe. Thanks.